All right, so in this video, I'm going to actually write our first quantum computer program, and we're going to be doing it in Python. So first things first, uh, just make sure that you have everything from video one installed. And I'll put a link in the description of that video. Just go back through because we're going to need the libraries for Python, the quantum information system kit to write this program. All right, so first thing, uh, let's go ahead and just create a directory. So for mine, uh, I just called it quantum. And if you did the last video, you might have put your uh, quantum information system kit, SDK Pi, and uh, QIS kit tutorial master in some directory. Um, so I just went ahead and made another directory inside that one called programs. So I'll CD into that one. All right, and then we're just going to name our files. So use whatever editor you like using, Idle, Atom. I'm using Sublime. So just Sublime um, in this tutorial one dot pi. Ampersand, the ampersand means that it's going to run in the background and we'll still be able to use this terminal window. All right. Okay, so we're all ready here. Just make sure you're running Python 3.5 or above. If you did the last video, then we installed that. All right, so we're gonna say from quantum information systems kit import quantum program and that's going to be our library that we're going to use for uh, for creating classes or class objects so so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an object and it's going to be called a uh, quantum program and then we're going to create a quantum register using that uh, so it's going to be qp dot create quantum register. So that's the method inside this uh, inside this qp object that we just instantiated from the quantum program class. All right, and so we're going to pass that the arguments. Uh, QR is the name, so we're just going to call this uh, quantum register QR, and it's going to hold two qubits, or two bits actually in this, in this, uh, no, 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 yeah, quantum, quantum is qubits, but we're also going to make a classical register, and it's going to be the same thing, so just replace quantum with classical, so it's going to be create a classical register and then CR classical register and then two bits All right and uh, so quantum circuit is what this one is so uh, so all these quantum programs are are based off of quantum circuits just like your computer is based off of a uh, a circuit board your quantum computer is based off or your quantum computer code even is based off of these quantum circuits so we're qu uh, creating quantum circuit and giving it QC as the name and then passing it these additional arguments one being um, this object we created up here and then we're going to pass it the quantum register as well or the uh, classical register as well alright so um, the next step is we're going to get components of uh, these 
objects we just created. So we're basically just going to do methods on them and then store them into a variable. So we're going to create a variable called circuit and that's going to be uh, the quantum program object and the method in that object uh, called get circuit and the circuit we're getting is the uh, the quantum circuit alright and then uh, we're going to create a variable called quantum register and that's going to hold the results of running the uh, get quantum register method so it's a method so we use the dot operator to access it and pass that the quantum register we just created above alright and then uh, we'll get the same thing we'll do the same thing for the classical register so classical R is QP dot get classical register and that's going to be classical register so what we can do since we've created this quantum circuit uh, is we can add operators to that circuit so these would be like gates and uh, joins or uh, like knots and like different kinds of operators and so um, for instance these gates can simulate an applied magnetic field to a wave function essentially which can collapse it in a certain direction if you measure it thereafter so for instance if we do uh, if we if we do add like a, a x gate for instance so we would do uh, circuit dot x on the quantum one and do that on the zeroth so so right here uh, we do we define that there were two qubits in the quantum register but it's zero origin indexed so we'll do it on the zeroth one which is actually it's essentially is the first one and then we can do a uh, measurement in the y so circuit dot y quantum r one and I'll get I'll get in more later on what these different gates and stuff mean but I think it's really essential that we just see how the code is going to come together and these different operators so that we can build our first program and get it out there and say that yeah we built the quantum program and then we'll see uh, a more visual approach to learning what these different operators mean coming up but so let's uh, let's do a function that uh, can operate on both of these uh, zero and one uh, qubits and we'll do a, a what's called a controlled not gate so so it's going to be circuit like always and then CX on quantum register at zero and quantum register at one Alright, and then we'll take a measurement of that comparing so we'll, we'll compare that measurement to the classical one so we'll do circuit dot measure And 
and then classical register and then we'll do the same thing for the ones place whoops yep take this typo out. I know you guys see it. Alright. Okay, so uh, to run this program, what we need to do is we need to tell we need to tell Python which backend we're going to use. So we can either use a simulator, which is what we're going to do here, or we could use the real quantum computer which we will do coming up but for now let's just set the back end back end is uh, sorry local QASM simulator and then So we'll set a new variable called circuits to an array of the circuits that we built, which in this case is just one. But I'm just doing this just to show you guys that you know usually on a on a larger scale program that's actually going to do something, we're going to have more than one circuit, and we'll be doing interoperations between um, those circuits and then execute everything as a group. All right, and then uh, so we'll pass that to a new variable called result, which um, is going to run and compile. So, so it's another method under the QP object, and it's execute. So this this method uh, runs and compiles the circuit group. And then we'll say wait is to so these are just some formalities uh, timeout is 240 so wait is 2 is in the number 2 alright okay and then we're going to print the result and so when we print this result, that's all. All that's going to do is just going to tell us that it completed it, which is nice. But we want to see like the different uh, expect expectation values that we get. So we're going to say result dot get counts and of our quantum circuit, and then out is. Uh, results dot get ran past tense QASM of QC or er, QC. All right, and then we'll print out, and that's it. So we'll go ahead, save this, and then run it. Hopefully, there's no errors here. So. Let's see, uh, Python, you can type Python 3. Um, I had to actually get into an Anaconda environment, so I'll have to do a uh, source, um, let's see, activate, um, kiss kit environment, okay. I had to set up a uh, Python 3 inside a uh, environment so that uh, I wouldn't interfere with programs on my computer running Python 2. But yeah, so so we'll go ahead and execute this. So just Python and tutorial 1.py uh, syntax line 23. 
Yeah, comma right here. Alright. Let's try that again. Uh, why? I don't see a comma missing here. Uh, create, create circuit. Hmm. Um, so this should have been, what? Just create circuit. Alright. And hopefully this time. Alright, so that's our output here. So you can see where it says completed, and that was from um, printing the result of the execution. It just tells you that it did it. And then we got the expectation values, which, uh, so for our comparisons, uh, so, so 3.14, 1.5, let's see. So it looks like what we got here is um, for the quantum register one, we got a vector, a uh, three-dimensional uh, directional vector, not directional because it has a magnitude greater than one, but yeah, so this is pi, this is pi over two, and this is pi over two, so, so your x, y, z coordinates are pi, pi over two, pi over two, and then we have... Uh, pi 0 and pi for the quantum register 0 value. So yeah, uh, more coming up on just the actual quantum mechanics behind this stuff. But I just wanted to get this program out there so you guys could get to coding. And uh, so it'd be good to, to check out more of, uh, let me see, if I can... Uh, go into this CD kiss kit tutorial master so if you can um, go back into this like we did in the first video and open this file again I think it's uh, Jupyter notebook and then index dot IPY and B that should uh, start the server to run that and you should be able to learn more about kind of what's going on here and there's a lot of uh, quantum mechanics uh, concepts to learn but we'll see more of that coming up alright next time